Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. In today's episode, we're gonna be playing another self-imposed challenge, which actually comes from a viewer. Very thanks for the idea and today's challenge will be very simple. We're gonna be playing just first two cards and the uh, on the left and the two cards on the right will be unavailable for us. So in this case, we actually got pretty lucky with our general drunker deck because we actually can play a decent cards and only we cannot play a lightning and heal tiny which are very situational cards so i would say a very good draw in this game number one but we're gonna see <laughs> if we're gonna actually win it or not so i would love to actually play heal tiny here that that's just one instance and i think it's gonna just get worse and worse over time but yeah w you gotta just stick to the end to find out. I'm gonna play some defense, hope to actually not receive that much damage because it was a scary push and unfortunately I, g I received a lot of damage. But we're going with the another general with a hope of getting some back. I would love to get another hit but I won't. Well that, that sometimes happens. It looks like our opponent will be a silicon 365 who actually this plays a pretty high high level of playing the game, so definitely won't be an easy matchup. I wouldn't even say that I would have a nice time against him uh, if I was pl to play normally, let alone <laughs> let alone with self-imposed challenge. So another time, I'm gonna remind you. Uh, I kind of expect to lose a lot of mails in these ones because, well, in a way, I. Uh, kind of handicap myself, so uh, it's no wonder if I uh, perform worse than usual. I would love to get a kill on this general ASAP, and there we go. I think I'm gonna actually capitalize on this madness dropping from the drunker because pretty much that's the only moment where I can get any damage. So obviously I'm gonna just uh, use it 100%. I'm gonna get a kill on the stonephone, so my super devil gets more value and. Right now I'm gonna just get a Drunker here, I'm gonna actually just play all my DPS cards and hope that this general just dies fast. I think I have to play Super Devil on that and with that I'm gonna be counter pushing. Obviously I cannot play Lightning, I cannot play Heal Tiny Dolls, all cool cards that would help me break through. Like I would love to play Lightning here, but I can't, so I'll have to rely on the, those cards. I would love this super devil to get a kill on this on this general. I don't think it will be the case. Unfortunately, general will get a hit. So yeah, we're pretty much uh, in already losing position because he's one EQ from winning the game on the spot, and I think he's gonna just go for it. I'm gonna yeah, he, he's gonna just play earthquake. So I would say. Very cool game from him, number one. Obviously, this deck kind of bases on the fact that you can play heal tiny and get one more hit every time with the general. I didn't have that one, so that was a bummer. And unfortunately, we take the defeat on the first game, but like I said, it's not gonna be an easy challenge. So, uh, yeah, let's jump to the game number two. And we are in the another game against Chiva Che 845 this time. So, we're gonna be playing, obviously. The different deck because I kinda was planning to play five different decks in this video. We're gonna see how this is gonna turn out, and it looks like we're gonna actually have a super ape as a band card, which obviously is not perfect, so I'll have to somehow kinda find a way around that so I can eventually get some damage. I would love to get a kill on that. Okay, he's gonna get a bit aggressive. I'm gonna play mortar and hope to get. Yeah, some some aggression going. I'm gonna stop these twins and unfortunately he's gonna get a very good piercing arch against my mortar. Uh, very cool to see that he's actually finding a way to break through my defenses, but it's not the... Uh, I want, what I wanted to say is this challenge will be just hard because my opponent is not bad, but it's not good either, so he may be just... Uh, he might just be playing very solid altogether, and that's pretty much the worst thing I want to see with this type of deck because, like you see, I don't have a super ape, so I kinda have to rely on this 
mortar damage on this uh, EQ damage. And right now, I think he's gonna be playing Piercing Archer. Maybe not. Okay. I kinda played Skeletons to predict his Piercing Archer and once he realizes my gimmick, I think it's gonna be very scary for me uh, to play anything at all. He's, he's gonna be playing Piercing Archer, which I think is a cool move. Uh, I'm gonna play more on the opposite side just to pressure and I actually baited out Viking which is a very good card to bait out. I'm gonna play right now my Fire Tiny, I'm gonna play my Gunner and I'm gonna play Skeletons and he's gonna be playing Cyclone which is, like I've said, very scary move but at the same time I think that's actually that's a good move for him to do so I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm gonna try to protect this Mortar and get a lock on. At least in a perfect world, that would be the scenario. And there we go, we got a shot, and that's a very cool thing to see. I'm gonna play another Swordsman, I'm gonna play another Mortar, because why not? He's gonna be playing Viking on the same side, so that's gonna be already a very hard defense for us to clutch. I'm gonna be playing right now... Oh, that, that's gonna be actually a very tough defense, because he's gonna be having Necromancer, and... I would love to get a kill on this Necromancer, and there we go, okay, so we got the kill on Necromancer, these apes will deal a lot of damage, and he blocks our mortar with a piercing archer, so no damage here, no damage here, I'm gonna be playing right now just another mortar, hope to get some damage here, I'll already place another viking, so that, that's gonna be just, yeah, the name of this game, he just plays viking, he wins, because I pretty much cannot do anything about that uh, fact, I kinda have to hope that my mortar eventually connects and I'm gonna just play another mortar, maybe I'm gonna get some lucky connection here and there, that would be obviously the perfect case scenario. I would love to kill these twins because then my mortar gets a uh, lock on. Okay, my mortar actually gets a connection, that's gonna be absolutely beautiful, I'm gonna play another mortar just try to outspam him in a way, he's actually gonna get a viking last second, so that's gonna be a very fortunate turn of events for him, and yeah, unfortunately we're not getting away with this one, even though it was a very close game, we still fall short with just uh, some of HP and yeah, that, that's gonna be another L, like I've said, this challenge is very difficult and uh, I, I got super ape locked, so it was pretty much one of the core cards of my deck, and sometimes it can happen, like you see. Okay, I'm gonna just jump to the game number 3 and hope for some luck in this one. And in the next game we're gonna be against Ice Punch, so Ice Punch is known as a very aggressive Dark Knight player, and we're gonna be playing against him. Right now we're gonna be having a Necromancer and Twins ban, and in fact we're gonna be playing Viking Bridge, and unfortunately I already have a bad hand, but at the same time I don't think it's too bad, uh, mostly because of, yeah, because he can just be playing very aggressive and I can basically just punish it with a Blitz, play Viking in the back and basically chill for a bit. Alright, that's, that's cool. So I'm gonna just play Viking in the back and uh, play things from then on. He's gonna be playing uh, Dark Knight, which is obviously a very logical move. At this point of the game I'm gonna play a Thief on the opposite side. He's gonna be playing a, a Stonefalls, which I reckon was uh, to kite my Viking, but yeah, it's not gonna work uh, that way, he kinda intended it to work. I'm gonna play Ghost here and uh, from then on I think uh, since I have my uh, Twins band, I'll have to find a way to break through uh, at some point with my Piercing Archer. Okay, so he's gonna be playing another Skeleton Keg, that's absolutely cool by me. I'm gonna play Viking and then I'm gonna quickly play Fifth on the opposite side, so he cannot play Dark Knight on this push. And if he does, yeah, my Fifth will just... I, I was about to say connect to the tower, but I mean it connects. And Viking push is still scary, but just he had to split his attention, and that's why I'm just getting into the damage lead right now. Very cool move to see. We'll look forward to make some more of these in the future, and I'm right now gonna just play Ghost in the back because there's no reason not to, honestly. I'm gonna just 
play another piercing archer in the back. Unfortunately, once again, I have this very unfortunate uh, hand of spells. He's gonna be playing digger on defense, which is in a way kind of logical. He's gonna be playing right now stone phones and then a phone hodge. So right now he's just getting very aggressive. I kind of was expecting when it's gonna happen and right. It looks like he's gonna get aggressive right now, so yeah, I'm gonna play Piercing Archery right now. I am or almost already at another uh, at another Viking, and I think I'm gonna just play it because because why not just send it? There we go. Right now I'm gone. I'm just going for a uh, base trade. I would love to get a kill on that. This Viking should be connecting to the tower, and once it does. It's gonna be a very unfortunate scenario for my opponent, and there we go, we are in the two, game, 2 tower scenario right now, and it's gonna be very scary for him to defend, since, uh, yeah, I have a viking, and he has a dark knight, so I'm gonna just be playing viking at the bridge, there's no reason not to, I'm gonna uh, play some thief, I think I'm gonna just use blitz on this, to uh, apply some more pressure, I'm gonna play piercing archer on this one, just to get some damage, Always love to see that one. And right now I have two piercing archers, he has to deal with them. And there we go, I forced out a skeleton keg, which is one of the most uncomfortable cards I, uh, he can possibly throw at me. I'm gonna play Thief here, just apply more pressure. This Thief actually will connect to the tower, which is gonna be very fortunate, and I think that's gonna be actually a game-ending moment. So we actually managed to clutch one win, I would say we had Actually a very good matchup, so we didn't even have to play Twins and Necromancer, but either way, that was a very cool thing to see that we actually managed to score a win. Okay, that's uh, the win for the good guys in the books, let's jump to the game number 4. And we're in the game number 4 against Cookie and with the deck, which is commonly called, uh, known as a Splemetry, because it kinda involves the uh, cemetery and cards that deal splash damage and for that reason we're gonna be playing the deck and <coughs> very unfortunately for us we don't okay he, he's already resigning for whatever reason but in in this deck in this game we kind of started with a very unfortunate hand that we had uh, steel hammer and uh, T-Rex band, so uh, I would say that this would have been a very hard matchup had he stayed in the game, but he left, so yeah, we're gonna just jump to the next game, I'm gonna just restart this guy and move with this same deck. And right now we are against Maestro FG, and this time we have even worse set of bands since we are having both our T-Rex, which is only only uh, entire card in our deck and uh, and our win condition which is symmetry banned so we'll have to resort to some tricks mainly probably just cycling uh, poisons on the tower so since we uh, have to do it at some point I'm gonna just start right away there's no reason not to obviously he's gonna be playing steel hammer so it's pretty much one of the best ways to answer to your opponent's spell cycling you just applying pressure immediately that there's no reason to delay that i'm gonna play cycle here because my hand is very awkward and uh, frankly i don't know what to do with my mana so yeah that's gonna be a play i'm gonna be doing right now obviously we'll have to Pay attention uh, very closely to not dying and uh, and getting maximum value out of our troops. I'm gonna play another poison. He's actually also uh, rage quitting right now for whatever reason. I actually don't want to skip this game. Okay, okay. So that was a fake rage quit. Our opponent actually fake rage quit us, and that's gonna be actually a very uh, annoying scenario if he uh, if he were not to lose his tower, but he did, so that's gonna be a very good success for us. I would love to play this game on fair terms, uh, if I uh, may say that. Uh, unfortunately, he kind of uh, quit the game preemptively, and that's gonna put us in a, a huge advantage. But it wasn't my fault, so I'm not gonna restart anything. 
Th this time we're just playing it uh, till the very end. He's gonna be playing twins. I'm gonna be playing uh, footman kick. I'm pretty sure Steelhammer can uh, counter twins by itself, but with this deck where we don't have any like insurance policy in terms of uh, backup damage, we kind of have to just over defend everything. Uh, as if our life depends on that. So I'm gonna just play another Cyclone, just cycle another spells. I'm gonna actually play a Footman Keg here, because why not? And that's gonna be pretty much GG, because I don't think he can uh, do anything about this possession of this. I'm gonna obviously play another Skeleton Hut. I even leaked some mana. There's no reason not to, since I... Okay, I'm gonna obviously play a Steelhammer on the Digger. I think even better play would be to play Cyclone on the Digger to activate the Viking Tower. But at the same time, it doesn't really matter because we get a dub anyway. GG well played and that's gonna be the game number 4 we're gonna jump today. Game number 5 of today's video with this very, I would say, annoying uh, but also very difficult challenge. And our fifth deck will be a Brute Mother Devil Cheese deck because I kinda wanted to cheese some players as well. I was kinda late on that madness, but I think in a grand scheme of things it doesn't really matter because I still will be having a very tough time to beat my opponent for the reason you're gonna see in a second. I don't have a Brute or Devils on my hand. If I Wait, I, I kinda instinctively played Madness, maybe it was on my right hand side, if it was, it's gonna be very unfortunate because I don't want to just make the challenge easier for myself, maybe even it was, uh, sorry for that mistake, I re really didn't want to do that, but it just sometimes happens, so I'm gonna just sacrifice this gunner's, uh, uh, this gunner as a whole, and right now I'm, I'll have to just... Uh, yeah, he, he's gonna be having an absolute counter to my deck, There's that's gonna be a very unfortunate scenario and right now I think the best play I can do is just play two pumps and hope for the best, honestly. Because I don't know how uh, will I uh, defeat my opponent without a brute and uh, obviously I cannot play brute so that's gonna be very unfortunate, I'm gonna actually play another pump, I'm gonna play shield skeletons to not die, and if I don't, okay, he, he's gonna actually kill my tower, yeah, that, that's gonna be tough, because right now I don't even think I have sufficient tools to uh, make a good attack, I'll have to try anyway, yeah, this, this tower goes down and I don't even think I have a uh, good tools to attack, yeah, <laughs> sometimes that just happens, I'm, I'm gonna be absolutely smashed here and uh, yeah, uh, I was supposed to not play Brute, so yeah, oh my god, failures all, all over the place, not only he has uh, normally the counter against my deck, I also kinda... Uh, I also kind of misplayed that in the beginning and at the same time, yeah, that, that's gonna that's gonna be a failure of a challenge because I kind of played the uh, gimmick I wasn't supposed to, but at the same time, let's just say see if we can save this game because I don't think it's possible even from this point. I'm gonna obviously try to see whether it's possible or not. I'm gonna play some shield skeletons here. I'm gonna play some other devil. I, I actually would be very impressed if I were to save this game, but I don't think it's possible like I said previously. We're gonna play Madness here and yeah, we kinda came close. Obviously we ca we had a hard counter on paper, but then he uh, didn't have to worry about Brute uh, at all. So yeah, uh, the fifth game was kinda a fail because I forgot about my challenge uh, uh, twice. Uh, first time being this uh, first play madness and the second time was I think with a brute in the back but this point the game was absolutely lost so yeah that's gonna be <laughs> oh my <laughs> that's gonna be it from me in today's video unfortunately we've got a ton of losses today but uh, those kinda expected this challenge is very difficult because if it bans your win condition you pretty much cannot attack and if you don't attack your opponent will just attack you over and over 
And uh, yeah, you kind of have to just base your uh, strategy on counterattacking. And that's, that's not always the case with different decks that you can meet on ladder. So yeah, uh, very unfortunate L at the end. But uh, nonetheless, I think it was a fun video. At least I hope uh, that you enjoyed uh, the watch. And if you watched till the end, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you aren't already, I'm posting the Boomerang content every single day. So definitely check it out for yourself. Yeah, leave a like, comment, but, uh, whatever to boost the algorithm uh, if you enjoy my content if you and if you want more people to actually support me. So yeah, that's going to be it. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Marina. Thanks for watching.